Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. I know I didn't retire this card yet, folks. <laughs> Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You can have many, many, great idea, many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'll be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 476, Nasdaq's off 96, S&P's off 48, gold. Gold contract down $4, trading at 19.05 an ounce. Got silver down 46 cents, $23.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 81 cents, $79.37 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10-year note up one full point plus eight ticks at 115.29. The 30-year is up two points plus 12 ticks at 132.02 and king dollar. King dollar is up 28 ticks trading 102.416. Euro is at 107. Yen is at 128.82, and the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Can you say failure on price and volume? Check it out. So we are talking about it yesterday. We'll put the SPY up first, just so you can see how this thing has been shaken out. So if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is this, okay? Bottom line, yesterday, we get over the high, closed underneath it, volume was only 63 million, you're going into 137, bottom line, giving it up. Right now, we've already done 65 million, so this is the same, you know, this is going to do 75, 80 million, so you're going south, your volume picking up. We go into the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100, what do you have inside the NDX? What we have with the NDX is this, same type of setup. With the, uh, well, no, it's not the same type of stuff because with the, with the NDX, what the SKUs actually did, they got to a higher high and they gave it up in price. And it's still going to be, you have 36 million now, you probably do 46 million while well, you're going into 60 million. So, bottom line, gave it up on price. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract out here, we've had a spread since 1929 to 1898. Same type of setup. Now, what the difference is here, and this is, you know, which is still good for gold, is this. So, we were talking about this yesterday, that I think we're setting a B to C of an ABC structure up inside the gold market. So, yesterday you hit high, and we hit, the last three days prior to today, folks, you were going higher and you had volume behind the move. That being said, though, what you also have is that you have an, we have an aspect that from the very low that was established out here on November 3rd, you very well, Bottom line had another ABC structure up, and that price projection was 1895. So now we're going to get a pullback going. The real bottom line, as long as it pulls back on lighter volume, you very well may be setting a much larger ABC structure going higher. And it's still all about the dollar because if you were in front of a machine today, folks, this was something else, man. The dollar, okay, first off, the dollar had broken its swing point about three days ago. The dollar trade is down to 102.528. So we've gone higher 900 ticks off that low. And maybe this is one going to get the bounce. Because my take is that you're going to get a counter trend bounce on the dollar. That just puts more destruction inside of the market. And we'll see where this shakes out. But it's certainly the correlation once again was there that a higher dollar bottom line turns into the aspect of a lower market. And uh, today, you can kind of see it in spades because if we take a look at the dollar, the dollar start rallying at uh, 1020 this morning. And if you go over the S&Ps, you're going to see, I mean, it was so direct, it's unbelievable. And this morning, you know, if you haven't been in the Tiger's Den, folks, okay, do yourself a favor, do us a favor, come on in the Tiger's Den. We have a great community in the Tiger's Den. You have a lot of, a lot of great Tigers and Tigresses. It's great trading. Great commodity, the whole ball of wax. And, you know, the bottom line is this morning, what was so weird this morning, folks, okay, is that the dollar was getting destroyed and the futures were only up 12 points. 
that made zero sense to me at all. That, you know, the bottom line is that, okay, this market doesn't want to hold, you know, because what should happen is that when the dollar, you know, the dollar was down 900 ticks. And when you have something like that, you know, the bottom line is that the S&P should have been up, up like 50. Anyway, anyway, you get the gist of it. it and the sell-off was dramatic. The sell-off was fast. Now, let's get over to that bond market because the bonds, there's, there's all divergences here that are taking place. So the, what the bond market did is this. The bond market's caught a bid. Oh, it's going to be interesting to see if we get an ABC up here, too. Listen to this. See, this is wild, man. Okay, so we take a look at this. No, it's not going to be ABC up because we had so much volume last uh, Wednesday. So you're coming into 2.3 million contracts. You've done 2.7, uh, 2.07, you know. But bottom line, you know, that's saying it does want higher price. And the yield right now, we haven't seen this yield for a while. The yield is 3.3 .3 on a 10-year. In fact, let me bring this back six months. Because this is, this is the low for the six months. I mean, for three months. I mean, six, six months. Yeah, six months is 2.5. Bottom line is that you'd think, and this is where it always gets intriguing in the marketplace, you'd think the aspect that if those yields would be going down, you know, the bottom line is that, okay, you know, markets should like that, right? Well, guess what? The markets haven't finished what they're looking to finish. That's the real bottom line, folks, okay? If we take a look at some of the higher volume equities, we have a Tesla off two and a half dollars. We go down. Well, let me go with this way. Let me do it this way. So inside the Dow Industrials, inside the Dow Industrials, you have point wise out here. You have gold. Look at that. Gold, Goldman's up nine, uh, putting nine positive points. The rest of them. See you later. You got uh, Honeywell minus 44 points. Big Mac 44. Uh, United Health 39, Amgen 34. If we go inside the NDX 100 and we take a look at the NDX 100, Moderna is up three, three and a half percent. Qualcomm's up two. You get Lucid up to nine tenths, taken away from it. Kraft Heinz is down 5.8 percent. Pindo Odu is down 4.8. Um, uh, Warner Brothers is off uh, 3.7, and Data Dog is down 3.3. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrial's off 467. NASDAQ off 93. S&P's off 47. We'll come right back.